recording? Oh, we've been recording. Maybe one day. We've been recording. Okay, here, here, here. Go, go, go. I'm going to take Hi, I'm David, a young 20-something living in New York City, looking to teach myself to cook better food. So, I'm taking New York Times best-selling cookbook, Salt, Fat, Acid, Peach, Mastering the Elements of Good Cooking, written by Samin Nosrat, and I'm attempting to make 200 recipes in six months. So, let's get cooking. Just some olive oil. It may have been a little bit too much, but it's okay. Everyone likes some oil. And I'm gonna let that heat for a little bit, and then we're gonna add all of our ingredients in a second. So we'll just wait. It's not doing anything. So. Um, all right, so I think the olive oil is pretty heated up now, just a little bit. So now we're gonna go ahead and add our first bits of ingredients for the Tuscan bean and kale soup. So first things first that we're gonna add going in is our yellow onion that we chopped up from yesterday. Just get that in there. We're also gonna add our carrots that we chopped up in there. Um, and then last going in is going to be the celery that we have here. And now that we have those, ooh, I need pepper. Now that we have like all of our onion, our uh, carrots and celery in there, I'm going to add also two bay leaves. Um, one broke, so I'm going to add the little pieces there and I'll fish them out later. They're still not super small, but bay leaf going in. Um, and now we're just gonna kind of salt this up. So I'm gonna salt pretty generously a little bit and just coat all of the onions, the celery, and the carrots in there with some salt. And we'll also do some pepper. Pepper, 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 pepper. This one, this is the one. One thing that's great about this pan and how we're doing these vegetables um, is that because it's so tall, all the steam is going to like be in there. So it's gonna take a long time for these to kind of like sweat out. So they're not gonna really brown as much as they're gonna get soft. And then also hopefully get a little bit brown. I don't know if that's true. I'm just saying what I think is correct, but it might be all wrong. Um, yeah, we'll let that sit for a bit. I'm gonna mix it. I got a spoon, so I'm gonna just mix all this around for a second. Great, and I have it at just like a medium heat there. We're gonna leave that alone for a second and figure out what we do next. Is it good? Does the lighting look good? Great. All right. Okay. Uh, mixture of the veggies, the celery, onion, and carrots, and bay leaves has been kind of cooking down here um, for about 15-ish minutes. Uh, it smells delicious. I'm gonna just give it a quick little taste before we move on to the next step. God, love it. Ooh, it's great. That was enough. That celery on point. All right, so the next step is um, we're gonna create a little hole in like the center of our veggies, and then we're gonna add some olive oil and then cook the garlic, um, and then we're gonna add some tomatoes. All right, so we're ready to add those things in. First things first, come in, look at the little, look at the, this is the kind of like hole that we've, the little, Hole that we've prepped for our olive oil to go into. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly drizzle some olive oil in there and then put our garlic. So, okay, yeah, we're good. Okay, garlic going in. Um, we just want to get the garlics until they give off an aroma so they're just a little bit cooked, not like getting too crazy. 
Okay, starting to get the aroma, the smells. So I think the garlic's good. It's Oh, it smells very garlicky, it's super delicious. I have now my crushed tomatoes here in this little jar, and we're gonna just add that on into our entire soup. Now we wait um, and let this same sort of deal, we're gonna cook the crushed tomatoes in here until it becomes kind of like jammy. I guess that's what we're looking for, I don't know, I've never done this. We're gonna hope for the best. Great, we'll wait a bit. Bubbling. We have our tomato mixture here. Um, it's been cooking down for a little bit. It's now got like that jammy consistency that we needed. Now we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients and make this the soup that it's supposed to be. Our beans, I chose to use cannellini beans um, and I already cooked these earlier. Um, so I'm just gonna add these into our mixture. I also reserved um, a, like a cup of the bean liquid from when I was cooking the beans, so we're also going to add that bean liquid. That goes in here. Now we're going to add some grated Parmesan cheese. That's going to go in there too, so just sprinkle that all around. Then we also add the rind. We're going to take it out at the end, so not a big deal. Rind going in. When is the kale supposed to go in? Because this is like a like kale soup. And last but not least, we're gonna add uh, our chicken stock, and we just want to add just enough to cover. <laughs> oh my god! It's happening! It's happening so fast. <laughs> we just want to do it enough so that it covers the whole thing. Okay, so we brought this back up to a simmer. Um, this is with like our chicken stock, all the other things. Now we're gonna add our last few ingredients here before we let it simmer and cook all the way through. Um, that's going to be our kale and our cabbage. We have our kale here, that's just going to go straight in. Okay, she's packed in there. Okay, there we go, there it is. Mix that in. Now that's mixed a little bit, we're going to start adding our cabbage as well. Cabbage going in. And another thing of cabbage going in. Ooh. I might have to add water to this, because it's like definitely not being covered by all the stock, and I've used all of my chicken stock. You can use water or chicken stock, so I'm just using a mixture. It's so much soup. I was not uh, imagining this would be this much soup. All right, well, cool. So that's all good, it's all covered. Um, now we're just gonna go ahead and bring this up to a simmer and let it cook for about 15 minutes or so. And we're great, and then it should be done. That's it. So, I'm making mayo once again. Um, because last night I did make mayo and the aioli before, uh, but my mic wasn't working, so we got no audio from it, so I'm happy to make that all again. It's fine, it's very easy, it's okay. Um, we're just gonna hope that I can do it again correctly. Um, so here we go, making our basic mayo. For a basic mayo, we're just gonna need one egg yolk, and then just some oil. I have some grapeseed oil here, which is a neutral oil. Um, and we're just going to whisk those together until it becomes a mayo. Hopefully it won't break. Um, since it's an emulsion, it's two fats coming together um, and they don't want to be together. So we have to really whisk it and force them to do and be together. So we're gonna hope that happens. So here we go, splitting the egg. So this is our egg yolk going in, uh, and this has this ha egg has been at room temperature because you want an egg that's at room temperature. It makes it easier to whisk in. The key to the mayo is that we're going to add our oil very, very slowly as we mix our eggs. So I'm gonna start mixing the egg, then add this a few drops at a time, and then very slowly, and then we can start to add it faster. So whisk, 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 whisk. I learned this from yesterday. I like doing it this way. Whisk, 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 okay, and just a few little drops. Okay, 
this is really stressful. I thought it would be less stressful because last night I already did it. Um, and that was the first time I did it. And this is the second time it would be easier. It's still just as stressful. It's kind of crazy how it, the egg yolk actually starts to like thicken up and gets harder to mix as we go. I made the first one with olive oil. It was too olive oily. Um, and it was kind of like yellow green at the end, which makes sense because olive oil is very like green. So I'm gonna see if this neutral oil helps to kind of like make more of a mayonnaise that's the color of mayonnaise that we know. Still good, yes, yes. I think you can like make mayo not by hand with like a mixer or food processor. Um, I think it's a little probably easier uh, I don't have those things, so I'm doing it by hand. It's more fun. And it's getting really difficult to mix. Oh, I need a break. Okay. We're gonna keep going. So sweaty. Still looks good, still looks like all together. Just keep doing it slow. Oh god, this is so difficult to whisk. Slow and steady wins the race. Stuck. Here we go, here we go. Just do the last bit. Yay, yay, yay. Well, we're done and now mix like crazy because that's what I do. I think the faster I mix it, the, the less chance it has of breaking, and I don't know if that's real. Wow! Yay! We have mayo! It's real mayo, this is so cool. I am still astonished. I made it last night, I'm just as astonished today. Um, and I love this color, it looks much more like mayonnaise. I'm gonna give it a taste just to see. Yeah, it's just mayonnaise. It doesn't have as much like a, like a sugary, salty flavor that like regular like store-bought mayonnaise has, but of course it's because it's just egg oil. So there you have it mayonnaise, and now we're gonna quickly turn this into our aioli that we need for our chicken salad. That's so good, right? I haven't tried it yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's good. I didn't think it would be that good, but it's good. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna try it too? Mm -hmm. Everyone's trying the mayo. Wow. It's good, it's mayo, it's so good.